Tuesday night college football, national TV. Hey, look, it might not be the most sexy matchup, Kennesaw State against Middle Tennessee, but there is a money-making opportunity in this game. I'm going to give it to you free with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and hope you enjoyed the Tuesday and Wednesday night free plays last week here on the videos. Perfect 2-0 sweep on those weeknight games. Of course, the NFL Thursday night plays a perfect 4-0 the last four weeks since I started doing all these free play weeknight videos. And I'm going to keep them coming for you. I'm trying to give you as much info on these weeknight national TV games as possible. And look, a lot of times they don't make my client card. Most of the time they don't. But they still have some value. And whenever I see an edge, I want to give it to you with analysis, especially for those of you doing your own handicapping. And on the surface, this is not an attractive game. Uh, these two teams combined on the season have one win. They're 1-10 straight up. And they've actually gone, I believe, against the point spread almost equally as bad. In fact, uh, Kennesaw... 0-5 in their inaugural season, 1-4 against the number. Middle Tennessee, 1-5 against the number. So 1-10 straight up, 2-9 against the spread. So let's not mess with the point spread here. These are obviously two bad teams, but I do think there's some value with the over-under. In fact, early this week on Monday, the sharp money quickly came in on the over, pushing it from 49.5 up to 51. And I agree with that move. If you're going to play this game, I think the over 51 is the way to go. Now, first of all, 51 is a key number. Lots of games can land on 51. Uh, 31 20 is the likely outcome here, but 41 10, 27 24, you get the point. A lot of scoring margins on key numbers get us to 51. So at 51 or less, I do still think there's some value with the over here. And these are two horrendous defensive teams. So the over makes a lot of sense for that reason. And I do price this in the mid 50s based on some different uh, power ready metrics that I use just based on opponents played. The reason the total is only 51 and is a little lower than it should be is because both offenses have been bad, especially Kennesaw State. Uh, their offense has been atrocious in their first season here in Division 1A football. But they should be able to move the ball better in this game for a couple reasons. First of all, they have some rest. Uh, they played the previous Friday on the 4th of October. They've been off for 10 days and nights. Scheduling spot a little tougher for Middle Tennessee. They just played um, last week, had to play the Thursday night game, and now they travel, don't travel, they travel back home after two games, but they only have four days of rest and recovery here for this quick turnaround. I think that hurts the defense, and this defense was already hurting. In fact, it's one of the worst pass, maybe the worst pass defense in the entire nation statistically. In fact, Middle Tennessee State's given up 9.5 yards per pass, 73% completions this year, over 320 passing yards per game. Every time their opponent throws the ball, which is almost 34 times a game, they give up a first down almost on average. Now, Kennesaw State is not a great passing offense. I get that. Just five and a half yards per pass. But they should be able to move the ball in this game, especially with the extra prep time. Uh, this is an offense, once again, that's averaged just 3.8 yards per play this year. Uh, but they faced opponents that give up just 5.5. Uh, Middle Tennessee this season is giving up over seven yards per play. So, yes, Kennesaw State, not a good team. I get that. But Middle Tennessee State's defense is worse than Kennesaw State's offense. And, by the way, Middle Tennessee's defense... Uh, offense, rather, is not bad when you factor in opponents played 5.4 yards per play against teams that allow just 5.1. That's actually above average. And now they're taking on a uh, Kennesaw State team that has given up uh, a tremendous amount of yards per play this year and has not been stopping anybody. In fact, overall, they give up 6.5 yards per play. And once again, uh, that's against teams that average just 5.7. Middle Tennessee, a huge step down in class facing this defense. And Kennesaw State also taking a huge step down in class. So I think both offenses have the edge in this game, and the total is very reasonable. That's why we saw the sharp betting money come in and push this from 49 to 51. I still think there's value over 51 in this Tuesday night game. By the way, it's on CBS Sports Network at 8 o'clock Eastern. Take a look at the over. Now, once again, a lot of these free play videos are not best bets. They're weeknight high spotlight games, but they continue to win. Last Tuesday and Wednesday, these free plays went 2-0. The last four Thursdays, the NFL Thursday night game, since I started doing that video every week for you, is a perfect 4-0. By the way, be sure to check out this week's Thursday night preview here between the Broncos and Saints. Very interesting matchup. I got that free play video for you this week here as well for Thursday night NFL. Also some Wednesday and Thursday night, Friday night college football games here. Lots of great free info to build your bankroll as you head into the weekend. So be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell for an instant alert when these free play videos go up throughout the week. And then, of course, the big boy videos, College Football Top 25 on Friday night into Saturday, and then also the NFL Fade the Public video on Saturdays into Sunday for you here on the channel. When you hit subscribe, click that bell for instant alerts. If you're finding the free play videos useful, thumbs up, like, and I will keep them coming. Boom, you did it. Thank you. 
and comment below. I read all the comments and I reply back. What are your thoughts on this game tonight? Are you touching it? Are you playing the side total? How are you attacking some of these weeknight games? Let me know what college football best bets you like this week here, as well as I do read the comments and I reply back. Now, these free plays are nice, and they do win long-term. I treat them maybe as like a 1% opinion if you're playing them, but don't forget, the way to make money is to play my strongest best bets each and every week. You're here, obviously, because you want to win betting football, and my best bets get that done for you. In fact, entering this week, 27-14 and 14 this regular season, both college and pro football best bets. That's ranked number one at Wager Talk. Once again, 27-14 and 14 on my 4% and higher best bets at Wager Talk, including an incredible 5 and in 1 weekend last week on Saturday and Sunday now 27 and 14 on the season ranked number 1 overall in college and pro football and it's not a surprise i ended this season ranked number 1 on ATS profit the last 2 years combined in college and pro football finished the baseball regular season on a 31 and 13 run and the nba is only about a week away i'm number 1 all time including the last 3 years combined in nba profit at wager talk so yes it is a great time to be in all sports all access not just football baseball and basketball because this is the only month of the year well maybe a little bit the first week of november the world series is still going but basically the next month is the only time over a 12-month period we can get football baseball and basketball all at the same time so an all sports all access is a no-brainer and on tuesday night the last chance before this offer expires we've had it going all week is to buy one month and add the second month for just 99 dollars more no promo code needed on my page right now steve merrill wagertalk.com get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. By the way, also going to have some college and pro football rest of the season promo codes for you. Too much to mention here in the video, so just go to my page and take your time. Take a look at all the promo codes and special offers. But once again, clock strikes midnight on Tuesday night. You can no longer get the buy one month, get the second month for 99 That's been a very popular, popular promo this past week. Tons of you have gotten on board. Thank you for joining us. And of course, you already had a 5 and one weekend, but there is plenty more to come over the next 60 days and nights. Check it out on my page, along with the daily free plays, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media as well, at Steve Merrill, 2Rs, 1L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free play videos coming up next.